Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, just over at um, our friend Josh's place, and what we want to do is he's picked up a new front lip. So he's got this Aero front lip, which is the same that I have on my car. I uh, picked it up at silver, he just got it painted pearl white to match his car. So he did previously have this um, Flow Designs V2 split up, just taking this off. So it's going to fit the new front lip today. So we'll start off with uh, removing the front bumper. Um, I don't believe this one has ever actually come off the car before. This car's a 2014 I believe, it's got 50,000 Ks, so he's never had this bumper off. So it might be a bit tight to get off the first time, but we'll uh, see how we go, I'll show you the process. Okay guys, so the first step is we want to remove the bumper and to do that to get to the bolts we will just have to pull the radiator shroud off. So we've got all these clips along here. So I'll just get a trim removal tool and start popping those up. Okay, so we've got these clips along here. Uh, if you haven't removed these before, definitely get yourself a trim removal tool like this. It's going to make it a lot easier than trying to use a flathead or anything. Need to do is get underneath that part, pop it out, and the whole thing will lift out and go flying. Oops. So, yeah, we've got two, three of those. Then we have these two here, which are just a normal one that you just sort of will get underneath and lift. There's nothing to get um, in here with or anything, so to not scratch this one. I'll generally go underneath and pull it out. So I'll grab all those out, and pull this snorkel off, and pull this one out, and we'll reveal the bolts that are holding the bumper on. Okay, so as you can see, we've got the radiator um, shroud cover, whatever you want to call it off. Let's let this one on because we could slide it out from underneath. We just got the two clips. So that reveals our bolts that hold the bumper on. So we have four along the top. We have one more down there, and we have also one more clip down there. Um, then you would usually have two at the front, either side of the inner cooler. Uh, those are both already taken out because they were holding the um, splitter rods that Josh had on the car. So those are out. And then we'll have the under tray. So he's already got a couple of these bolts out too. That we're holding his splitter on so you'll have a combination of bolts which will be 10 mil and clips underneath here so you just have to get all of these just so you can get the under tray loose the whole way around so that it's separate from the bumper you don't have to take it off any further than these front um, clips all the way along here so i'll get those out now do the same thing just use the trim removal tools and we'll get in and we'll pop them out and pull them through so i'll grab those out now and i'll show you the next step all right guys so we've got the under tray all loose next step is you've got this guard lining that you have to get these three clips out because that's also obviously attached to the bumper so these ones are different see i've got one out there already so these ones are actually the screw type so you just need a phillips head and just wind it basically out until it will just pop out. Like that. So we'll have one, two, and three. And um, then also up here, I'm sure if you can see or not. But you'll have a 10 mil bolt there. Also have to pull that one out. And that'll be everything for the side and underneath. And then we'll just have those few bolts at the top that hold the front bar on. So I'll get this one out, get the bolt, and I'll get the three on the other side. And then we'll go from there. Okay guys, so have three clips out on both sides. Also got the bolt out that's up in here there that I showed you. So now we just have all these 10 mils along the top. 
So let's grab all these out. And then for this one down here, we'll just need an extension. But we'll grab that as well. And that will be all the bolts and we can start actually pulling the bumper off the clips that sort of hold it uh, up inside here. So as this bumper I don't think's ever been off before, uh, it's gonna be tighter, but you just basically grab the corners and start popping it out. So get these last bolts out and we'll try and show you that process. All right, so we've got everything out. So definitely have the bolt out that's up in here. All the clips. So what you have to do now, which is actually the scary part, especially the first time removing a bumper. So along here, there's actually a bunch of clips that kind of hold it. So you have to just get it and just basically force it out. So I'll see if I can show you that process, but very daunting doing it on someone else's car that's um, it's on there so tight. Okay, so that's it. So didn't film because it just felt so tight, so I just put the camera down while I did this first one. But yeah, so as you can see it has these as you can see these clips. So it slots into them. So this one was really in there tight. So it sort of clips down in. But yeah, so that's what we have to do. So we'll get the other side and then we'll be able to pull the actual bumper off. Okay, so as you can see. Bumper is now off. Last part we did forget about was the um, the fog light um, harness, which is this one, so that will hold it. So one thing I always forget when I do put front bumpers back on is to reconnect that. So I'll make sure we do that so that he still has fog lights when he's driving. Um, so yeah, now that is completely off. So we are good to start working out how this aero front lip goes on. So. We'll um, yeah, start working out what we have to do. I know we have to pull off um, the middle plastic piece, the front bumper, and replace it with this bracket. But yeah, we have the instructions here. So, not too bad. All right, guys, I'm just looking at the instructions. So, obviously, it says to remove the front bumper. It says to remove this, what it calls the air dam skirt panel, which is this plastic piece that runs along. So it looks like we have to remove these six screws. The tilt you there on the very bottom. So I've got one out. These ones along here. So we'll take all those out and then we'll see if this, this guy just pops off. Okay, so as you can see we have screws absolutely everywhere. Originally thought it was screws down here we had to remove, but Possibly not. We've since removed these ones. We sort of take out the couple of fog light screws to get these ones behind it. So I'm thinking now that this piece should lift off, but we'll, um, we'll give it a try now and see how it goes. Okay, so we've got this piece off here, which is obviously normally at the front. So. That one has come off. It was just the uh, six screws and some clips. So now it looks like we'll be replacing it with this one. So it's some support for the front lip. So yeah, to get this one off, sort of clipped in and screwed in. So just get all those screws and sort of um, start pulling it from the front and it'll come out. So we'll see how this one attaches, we'll put it on and we'll show you what comes next. Alright, so a bit of an update. We removed the factory piece that I showed you, we pulled these six um, clips, whatever you call them, off, put them onto this one. We had down here four that came in the packet that we added on and then we put the bolts through. So I'll come around the other side. So that piece is now attached. So we have these four 10 mil bolts. So that's now holding that bracket on. 
So now what I'll do is I'll refit all this um, fog light mesh and everything that I've got hanging out of the way, put some of the screws back in, and then we'll be ready to put the front lip itself on. All right guys, as you can see, we now have the lip on. We just brought it out to the grass. Uh, we've lined up really well. And we've just had to pull it out of this side here, get one side at a time and squeeze it on the other. So if we haven't secured it or anything, it's just sitting there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay the front bumper down on the grass so we can get the bolts in securing it. And then we are ready to put everything back onto the car. As you can see, it's much more aggressive with that lip. And the color match is pretty good. It's a bit more uh, metallic-y in the lip, but that's fine. So yeah, we'll get this secured on to the front bar itself rather than just sitting there, and we'll reinstall. All right, so we have the bumper back on, just sort of clipped in. Um, so we have to put all the bolts back in, so it's just sort of sitting here at the moment. But yeah, this is the lip on, bumper back on. So we'll get everything tightened, all finished up, and we'll um, show you how it looks completely finished. <laughs> the finished result. Everything is back together, aero lips on. It's a pretty easy job really. Um, in the instructions it did say to take the, the front bar off, then to take um, this strip off, and to reattach the front bar to do the rest of it. We were a bit confused why it said to do that. Uh, we didn't do that, obviously, we just did it off the car, but I think that was more so if you're on a hoist, it would probably be easier to get it all tightened on the car. Um, but yeah, so we we pulled the bar off, we took that black piece off, we put the lip on, and then we reattached it to the car. Um, so yeah, we're all finished now. Looks amazing in my mind, it's really transformed the car. Fortunately, we've got a couple of cars behind it, so we can't really get it out in the sun to show you. And also... Uh, Josh has picked up this splitter, which has been custom made for the aero lip. So he's going to put that on this afternoon. So that will go, um, I'm sure it's still loose, so that will go in between. So he's going to finish that off. But yeah, that is the aero lip installed on the Evo 10, the factory piece. So I hope you guys enjoyed and found it useful if you're looking at getting one of these lips. There are still a few available. I might even see if I can put the link um, of a seller on eBay that has a few left. But yeah, other than that, it's going to be the end of the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you um, like the video, put any comments you have below, and please subscribe to the channel. It'd be greatly appreciated. And I'll catch you guys next time.